All right, we're gonna do a video with Calypso and his leash walking now. And I'm gonna just kind of break this down and make this real simple for people because I know leash pulling is the number one biggest problem, that and jumping. And they're kind of uh, intertwined, but uh, biggest problem that people have. First off, if you can't sit here like this with your dog and talk without him pulling, constantly or jumping at something or having to go check something out or having to go pee on something then all you should be doing is just practicing standing in one spot with your dog <clears throat> and it's really as simple as as uh just not putting up with it if they're gonna if they're going to pull it's no we're not doing that. If there's no magic to it, it's just, I'll sit here all day and correct them on the leash until they get the picture. Um, you have to go into it with a mindset of that it's, we're not doing that. It's not a matter, you have to win that, that battle of wills. So much of this like behavior stuff, you know, I can give them treats, I can put e-collars on them, I can do all that, but if they can't control their urges for other than if they're just doing it for a reward, you can't have that either. Once they start getting it and they start behaving, then I start rewarding and then I can start talking to them and petting them and not expecting them to jump on me. Or be rude to me but they have to understand what's acceptable and what isn't so it's the same thing also when I have these dogs in the kennel all of them when I open that door the first thing they want to do is bolt through that kennel door as hard as they can and that doesn't fly either if I have to slam the door in their face a few times until they catch on then we'll do that we'll do it all day um, and then once they start calming down and understanding how I expect them to enter or exit or walk on a leash, that's when I will start rewarding the behavior. But like right now, got another dog's walking up to him and he's not trying to jump all over rigs. He's not being rude. He's not pawing at him, not trying to hump him. And then you can just kind of walk with him. So Calypso was real bad with pulling on the leash. He had no manners. He didn't res had no respect for any any person or any dog or anything. So I mean, basically, it was just a lot of standing with him. Like if I get this behavior, it's great. See this? Uh uh. I don't want muddy paws on my pants. Sorry. I like dogs. I don't like muddy paws on me when he's like this and behaving he's gonna get lots of pets and we're good we're best friends and actually the more you can make your dog respect you as opposed to just being the dog just being your baby or being your best friend the happier the dog is gonna be you're not an object you're not a play toy you own the dog. You have to, trying to be blunt and not sound mean at the same time, but you can definitely establish yourself above the dog and be the leader without being really heavy handed or being too mean. It's just consistency and you have to have it go into it with the mindset of 
you're, I'm not do, we're not doing this. This is not how you're going to behave, period. Like I said, I'll, if, if, we're, if he's going to pull on the leash, then I'll pull back. We'll do it all day long until, until I win. Uh, it's the same with same with jumping. Uh, if I have a if I have a dog that just constantly is jumping, we will go inside that building, and I will let him jump on me five thousand times, and every single time he will get the same exact treatment. Uh, some dogs that have to be a little bit more forceful with, I might just walk right through them when they're jumping up on me. I will walk like with some force into them. If they fall backwards and land on their back, that's on them. I didn't make them do that, but they're going to have to learn. You can't jump on people. You can't be rude. That's just, you know, and the better your dog gets of understanding what's acceptable and what isn't acceptable, the more you're going to enjoy your dog and the more your dog is going to enjoy life with you and be able to be included in things and not have to be put out in the backyard every time someone comes around or be put in the laundry room every time somebody comes over. It's, it's so much of it is just that, okay? Not everything can be fixed with, you can't fix, can't, I'm not gonna say you can't, but it is ex extremely more difficult to try to fix a bad, rude behavior with treats and praise. Yeah, it can be done, but it's gonna take forever. You might as well just take the bull by the horns and put your dog on a leash and you get in the mindset of you're the boss. And the dog is going to mind one way or the other. So Calypso's doing awesome, actually. He's a he's a great dog. He just needed he needed good old-fashioned discipline. So like right now he's gonna sit here and chew on this stick, but I want to walk. So I'm not going to ask him. We're just gonna go. Here's another thing, we come up to a door, okay? Come up to this door. I do not want him pushing his way past me and trying to push him through the door, which he might try to do, uh-uh. Okay. Same thing with the kennel. If I tell him to go to the kennel, I'm not going to give him treats. I'm going to tell him, kennel. And then I'm going to shut the door. Now, if I want to come, want him to come back out of the kennel and he tries to bum through, uh-uh. Good. Now this kind of behavior right here is what I like. Good boy. Good boy. Uh-uh, come. Now when we come up to this door here, you notice he is not trying to push, push his way past me. trying to do this so even if I open this door I can drop this leash he knows better because we've done this a million times 
that if he tries to bum rush past me, he's going to get either the door slammed on his face or he's going or my leg is going to block him and I'll push I'll walk him all the way back there. But I should be able to grab uh-uh. Good. No. But I should be able to grab this leash, throw it on the ground, pick it up without him getting overly excited like he's going to go for the walk, like he's going to go on a walk and and get crazy. It should just be okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. What are you eating? What are you eating? What, oh, yuck. Whatever it is, it looks delicious, I'm sure. All right. So, there is my kind of just blunt pro tips. Um, a lot of the behavioral issues with dogs have nothing at all to do with any kind of magic. It's just you have to be the boss. You have to put your foot down and you have to get in that mindset that we're not, that's not going to happen anymore. It's consistency. If the owner is not consistent, it's going to take forever. So, and I just, I do this so often that it's just habit with every dog. And so I don't really have to work on my consistency and that's kind of what makes me more proficient at it than the average dog owner because this is what I have to do. If I try to be buddies and best friends with all these dogs, it would, they'd be a mess when I try to let them out. They all have to know what I expect and what's allowed and what isn't allowed, what's acceptable, what's unacceptable. So, and look at, this guy was a wild and crazy Maniac. Weren't you? Weren't you? And now he's so nice to me. And he can stand here and I can pet him without getting my face licked or my clothes clawed up. Good boy. Good boy. See, normally he would be jumping on me. Uh-uh. He'd be jumping on me. He'd be acting like a brat. But over time, you just stay consistent, and this is what you'll get. All righty. Toodles. I hope that helped a lot of people. Because it just, it just needed to be said. You know, a lot of stuff, there is no magic behind it. It's just, you got to be the boss. And I don't care how many purely positive trainers get upset about this or I get comments that, you know, blah, blah, blah. I went to ABC Dog University School training and I'm sort of, I don't care. I really don't because you're not going to take this dog to PetSmart or one of these other purely positive trainers and get it turned around. The, and it, it's just not going to happen. You're going to waste a lot of money and you're gonna be really frustrated. So just like anything else, take the bull by the horns and do it. All right, toodles.